<laughs> All right, guys, so we are nearing the end of this cross country road trip, and today is Dr. Bo Hightower. It's time to get cracked. Now, I put in the address, drove straight here, and head to my surprise, it is Jackson Wink Academy. Now, if you guys don't know me, I am a huge martial arts fan. Pan over and see that. Jackson Wink Academy. This is crazy. Let's go check it out. Like, I'm really excited about this because I'm hoping that He's it like, helps. Break me. Yeah, I <laughs> hope like, I did the car wash. <laughs> Dude, I'm so messed up. Just I'm just sitting right now. After you did that, I guess, mm -hmm. or maybe not, it's just right there. It's radiating and upwards? Yeah. Okay. So let's see this range of motion in the right shoulder. So we're we'll bringing that arm all the way up. Okay. Not bad. Left side. And that left one hurts? Yeah. Okay. You can see the impingement on the front. Bring it back to that one. Let's bring both arms here. Let's go push towards me. Yep. That's, that's painful. Oh. Yeah, right there. So if I put you there, you can't really get you right. Let me try. You gotta reach your tricep and then push past it and then you get your back. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. uh, no, just the elbow range of motion. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so bad now because like my bench press now. Because I used to, I had like a 520 bench back yeah. then. I was pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, now when I come down and I go to rack it, I've got to roll the shoulder to get it in the rack. You gotta get accustomed. Yeah. Uh, so it's just like it really is. Get in the way. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, bench is not a significant strength for arm wrestling. I mean, right. once you know how to arm wrestle, all strength helps. Right. So if you, you're strong in your legs, I think it helps. But uh, as far as just because you're a big bencher doesn't mean you're good at arm wrestling. Yeah. In fact, it, that's yeah. nothing to do with it. Right? <laughs> exactly. All right, bring that up, bring the elbows up all the way. Uh, like, that hurt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like just that little bit right there. Just that, you know, that yeah. one part. Okay. And now it's actually going back into the rear delt zone. Okay. Turn your head that way as far as you can. And to the left all the way. And just, yeah, yeah. That pinch is over there. Yeah. And then back to center. It's not bad though. Look up all yeah. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> that <looks tough. laughs> yeah, that part's bad. All right. So let's go face down first. Okay, you twisted. Tell them that one. Have to hammer them. My other chiropractor says I have a slight pelvic rotation. Did you get it? What? He's, He's going to get the hammer. hammer. Got that Thor one in. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to. It's so beefy. You're gonna hear some sacrilege. Brandon told me he's never seen over the top. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? Sacrilege. <laughs> I was like, Stallone. He's like, oh, but didn't that guy play in Rocky? Oh no, Oh, you're didn't. kidding me. He didn't. <laughs> Brandon, what are we doing, bro? We've, got, we've reached a generational gap here. Right. Let's turn your head to the left all the way. And back to center. So the real question I'm sure everybody is wondering is how long does it take to get that beard to that length? <laughs> okay, so I shaved it in April, 2017. There was a- Clean? Yeah, all we did go to. Okay. Cause, uh, Never clean. No, I mean, just like a really thin, thin go to. You ever seen him shave clean all the way? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. But, uh, What's so the, the preference? The beard is for her. The beard. She, she's the whole reason I have this thing. Same. She likes this <laughs> long beard. Same. And the shave head so that when people see me, they, they might think I'm a little crazy. She's like, I like the fact that they might think you might eat them. It's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very reasonable. Is that yeah. what you have yours? Of course. <laughs> it's not happy husband, happy life. <laughs> Don't forget that, fellas. Dream. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that, fellas. Try to pull this arm across your body. Oh. And bring it back down. And pull across your body. And bring it back. And pull across your body. Okay, relax that shoulder. Yeah, so I didn't realize, I mean, I, I've been watching and everybody talks about how strong your thumbs are, but damn, your thumbs are strong. <laughs> you feel that. It's all relative, right? Yeah. Yeah, if we wanted a thumb wrestling match, you know, maybe I might have a chance. You might be in that. I might have a chance. Arm wrestling, no chance. 
No chance that's what you got. Pretty tender through there? Oh yeah, so tender. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at the map. I got like, how many states do I still have to get? I still gotta get Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. We do too, those three. Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota. Ours is North Dakota. And then Hawaii and Alaska. And mine's Hawaii. I mean, mine's Alaska. Okay. So I've got 45. I've got to hit those last five states. It's on. Yeah, so we're It's doing, a race. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, were, we got married on the 4th of July in Vegas, and I tell people, so there'll always be fireworks, right? Ah, um, yeah, but good. It's good. Yeah, it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to do a seminar in Albany on July 3rd. And we're gonna do another road trip. Gotcha. We're gonna go up and do Niagara Falls on the second. Go do the nice. Armistice Seminar and practice on the third. And then we're trying to figure out where to spend our anniversary in, in the New England states. But we're gonna go ahead and hit Maine and Hampshire, Vermont while we're doing that. That's a dragon I after that this summer too. I'm like, we'll do, we'll fly into Portland this summer. We'll drive <laughs> through New Hampshire and Vermont. Yeah. Say like a bed and bed and breakfast or something, you know. Right. Yeah. And then got to do Alaska in the summer. Oh, I want to do Alaska. Alaska. Oh, yes. I want to do an Alaska and cruise too, right. just because I've heard that they're spectacular. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh... Well, I can't remember. Is it Anchorage or Juneau? Maybe both of them. You can't drive into either one of them. Right, you have to take them. If you either... I think it's Juneau, I, I can't remember. But you have to, like, either, either fly or take a boat. Those are the only options then. I may be completely wrong, and now we have it on camera. So that's going to be bad. I'm wrong all the time on camera. Oh, cool. Okay, good. Yeah. But, like, what's your fire prediction? I'm like, well, if I was going to bet, do everything the opposite of what I guess. That's so funny. You know humans are really bad about doing is predicting the future. <laughs> we should probably just stop. The arm wrestling just like fights, so they'll try to say, "Well, this guy will be the my money so This guy's going to destroy that." And I, I'm like, "Listen, man, you can state your opinion, but quit trying to state it as a fact. You sound like an idiot." You Dang! Know I mean? I mean, you let him know that. Yes, all right, <laughs> all the time because it's it's. I mean, because people will just with social media, you know, people will just say. Are something. people are mean on social media. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Talking to you, YouTube comments. Talking to you. <laughs> we really weren't specifically talking to you. I mean, we're literally talking to you. Uh, See, so you got me at my absolute weakest, so you're lucky there. <laughs> I haven't done a single exercise in six weeks or seven weeks. Oh, why not? I just got stem cells <clears throat> down oh. in Columbia. And they want you to not do any, any exercise for eight weeks. Because the inflammation from your muscles from working out... <clears throat> You don't want to draw the stem cells out. You want them to stay in the joints, or yeah. I got stem cells last January. Yeah, but I was told I could do like fifty percent of the normal resistance okay. for a couple of weeks, and then seventy-five for a couple of weeks, and then. Do they do your body, or you got them from the donor? Got them from a donor. Yes, yeah, sir. We're so trying to clear the left side of the skull. I'm going to clear the knee at the same time. What are you on the on the neck? We good there? Yeah, yeah, it's very good. With that relax. Try for hours, Jenna's. Me? No, I'm just uh. Get try to relax, probably. Yes. I'll go under the beard. More professional. All right, there we go. Got it. That one definitely moved. Feel that yeah. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get your whole cervical spine thoracic. Yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Are you taller now? Six yeah, four. I, like, I felt like I was about to tap out on the rear neck control <laughs> for a second. We're not in the cage, man. You can't be tapping out. <laughs> so, is that any different there? Uh, like pain one, still tender. It's a two versus where it was a six. Okay. I definitely felt the knee move that time. Yeah, I did too. So, if there was a fixation in that meniscus, which I think there was, it should have opened it and let that part of that tissue kind of suck back in the middle. So it should hinge better. We'll see when you stand up. Okay, cool. Awesome. You know, pretty sure there's a tear. <laughs> pretty sure there's a tear in the meniscus. So you know, up to sixty percent of people over the age of forty can have meniscus tears. So. Everybody has them. Yeah. So as hard as you live your life, it's almost a guarantee. Right. <laughs> Probably both. You know, the question is, is it super symptomatic or not? That's why I was saying if it's getting caught at the joint or it's getting stuck or something like that, mm -hmm. then that matters more. Gotcha. You know, the the localized pain will usually fade in a month or two. Okay. Uh, Very take, cool. Take this hand and reach down towards your foot. And shrug. Unless you tear it up with jujitsu. Mm -hmm. Unless you tear oh, it up yeah, with jujitsu. That's fun. Shred it as knee jujitsu. Oh, was it bad? Yeah. And yeah, a query oh. 2 MCL, like my kneecap was not where it was supposed to be. This is the kneecap. You know. Medial retinacum was gone. I'm sh pretty sure my meniscus, I heard it just grind the four or five tears in it. So yeah, it was fun. Yellow. So am I supposed to be reaching in, shrugging, and shrugging? If you can. Okay. Unless it feels like my fingers are in your soul. It does feel painful. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's pretty good to get out of him, huh? Well, I've seen all the big guys you worked on, so I was like, yeah. Like, I'm not going to make no faces. Uh, no, I, I was, I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> I am comfortable with my masculinity. You can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> the tears of joy, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> that feels so much better. Yeah. yeah mostly cleared. There we go. That's so weird. That fades off. Yes, because it was like really painful, and then, huh, then that's not bad. I could get a little massage. Have you torn this back? Yes. So, <laughs> bring it down. I tore my left lat, and then 12 days later, I tore my right back, and then 20 days later, I had the biggest turn in my career. 2016? So, I was a black and blue torso. And, yeah, it's horrible. Just blood drooping everywhere? It was so bad. All right, let's sit you back up, take a few steps. Let's just see how that knee's feeling. It feels any less pinchy. Yep, they can fix. <laughs> I mean, it's... It really does feel like a significant. That is so crazy. Yeah. I feel much better in my knee. Yeah. Should, shouldn't feel as pinchy on the joint now. It doesn't. So now, the, yeah. And the ankle, when it pulled, I felt like the ankle popped too. Yeah. Because the ankle was impinged. So from, yeah, from the boot, from the banana, yeah. and all that stuff. Uh, where's that shoulder again? Let's see where that's at so far. Better on the front edge. You still feel a little pinched on the top? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Same spot. Yeah. A bit less tight in the front now. Mm hmm Way less. All right. Let's sit in your face that direction. There's it, only five or six people I, in the I, world that can give you a good match at this point. There's, I mean, there's, yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a very small percentage of people that are, you know, at that world-class elite level. And then, right. then you have the different tiers. And that's what people don't understand. There are so many levels, just like in anything. But sure. And if you arm wrestle him or me and we both beat you the same, because the gap strength could be significant, but sure. to you it all feels the same. You're like, oh, y'all be a good match. No, no, no. Right, that doesn't translate. <laughs> no, because it's just <laughs> the guy that beat you easy could have beaten you easy because he's 2% stronger than you. Oh, okay. Well, the guy that beat you easy may be twice as strong as you, right? Oh, you just can't tell. Arm wrestling. Always. I think actually we had a little partial bicep tear back in the day, you know? Everybody gets a couple brews in, they're like, wow, I work out. Right. <laughs> Dumb. Push your head straight back. Oh, that. That reminds me, because I grew up wrestling, it reminds me of the first time I learned about jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Like, I go, oh, I can take this kid in the college right. dorms, and I go shoot in for a double leg and just get guillotined to keep him calm. Then I'm pissed. I'm like, let's go again. Triangle. Right, <laughs> like, he just keeps switching up. <laughs> I just yeah. keep running into different traps. Yeah. <laughs> And like she's actually a seven-time national champion, and my stepson's a seven-time national champion as well. Wow. Yeah. So you guys got, you got medals. <laughs> we got, we got a lot. We got Trophies, a lot, yeah. medals. Yeah, handlers. I was the guy that didn't play team sports as a kid, so I uh -huh. didn't have the trophy shelf uh -huh. when he was a teenager. So I've kept every award I've won for the past 30-plus years. That's dope. Yeah, so we have a, a big private facility that back home that we train people in. Okay. And it has all the world titles, all the national titles, all the... Just everything. It's pretty epic. Well, it's a, it's very inspiring. Yeah. Right? When you go in there, like it inspires you to work yeah. out, right? So, I like it. Yeah. Cool. Let's stand up. Hold this in your left hand. And then let that shoulder drop straight. Right, right there's good. Okay. I'll let it drop a little more. And a little more. Palm forward, and then let the shoulder relax. Good. Raise that arm up again. How about that sound? Feels better. I, I had a little gristle sound in the back just then when it went up. Okay. Like that, that rear delt spot, uh -huh. but everything else. It feels way better than it did. The top feels <laughs> open? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that one more time. So, Palm out or the same spot? Uh, thumb forward. Let's see if we can get this back edge too. Okay. Up again. And you said you tore that lat? Yeah, tore the left lat. On the on the top, the bottom, do you remember? Hi. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's sit right here. I'm gonna have you take this arm, you're gonna go in and out like that with it. In and out like this? So like this. Oh yeah, wanna do that fast? A bunch? A little slow, but that motion. Got it. Oh, 
I'm like, oh. Well. Yeah, I don't feel anything in my shoulder. I feel all kinds of, right, like, probably an eight right there. And is that typical for you? I got into a precarious position Sunday at arm wrestling practice that I probably shouldn't have let it go. Okay. And I held on to it a little longer. Is that related to it? Yes. Telling you the thumb strength is significant. It's <laughs> <laughs> just angles. Alright. Still feeling that? Mm, probably about a six now. It's a little better? Mm hmm. If I hold there, is this me? Upwards? Any different there? Less pain. Less pain? Yeah. So hold your own wrist like that for me? <laughs> Straighten the elbow. A little more. Good. Palm out again. <laughs> it's maybe, maybe a two now. So a lot better. <laughs> so it's yeah, that same motion again. Uh, I don't even know how you did that. <laughs> Body mechanic, right? Yeah. Straighten. Bones only move so many ways. Yeah. Straighten a little more. A little more. There it goes. Almost got it. A little more. Go. Go out again. No pain. There we go. <laughs> I'm this guy. I need to have this guy travel with me. <laughs> I will destroy everybody if he can fix these arms up like that. That was amazing. It's just like something hurts. You're like, okay, now it yeah. feels better. So. I don't know how you did that. Yeah. Like, because it really felt like one of those things was gonna last like a week. And they can, obviously. Yeah. You know, if you don't, if you don't get everything moving the right direction. Um, okay, stay back up again. Just raise that left arm all the way up. About there. I mean, it feels good. I just had the, the little grind right there and went click when it went up. Pain? But, no. Not really? Mm -hmm. Like. It looks like it's in the back. <laughs> I need a set of those. Just, you do <laughs> definitely do not need a set of those. <laughs> All right, keep pulling the arm back. Keep pulling back. Watch that arm back towards my face. A little further, a little further, a little further. Good. Okay. Push your head straight back. Push one back. Push your head straight back towards me. Good. All right, raise that arm again. Not bad. Let's see, compared to the other side. I feel the same now, or does the left feel better than the right? Mm. Or vice versa? They feel pretty much the same. Feel the same? Good. Okay, pretty good there. How's your neck right now? Still tight, right? Yeah, right there. Pinch. Pinch is right there. Feels like it's deep, like right there. Right there, yeah. Do you usually get regular adjustments on your neck? Not regular. Like, like he, like, cracks it? Yeah. And it moves pretty well? Mm. <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm, I'm the world's worst about cracking on my own shit, right? Like, I will lay my back across here where my neck's hanging off mm -hmm. and then I'll put pressure on my neck and I'll pull forward like I'm doing crunching and I'll pop all the way down my spine. Yeah, you know your body well, it's fine. Yeah, but I don't. <laughs> and those, uh -huh. a lot of times if I get in a hot shower and then when the water heats me up, I go Okay. And it'll pop. We call it chiro baiting. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sit, I, I just sat back down thinking I was supposed to sit down. Makes sense to me. Shrug that shoulder up. Shrug it a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Keep that again. Still right. Right there, that last little bit is where it's. Ah, there it is. You can't tell by the look on his face. It's definitely it. <laughs> and look at him, look. Relieved a lot. Look left all the way. Again. 
look straight up to the ceiling. Keep going up. 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 Keep, going up. Keep looking back. Keep going up. A little further. A little further. A little further. There we go. Good. Get down all the way. And then up again. Okay, back to center. Look up again. Keep going up. Keep going. Keep going. Good. And up again. How's that feel? Much better. You can see the ceiling now? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it was like I was about right there before. Yeah. Now I can see it. Go up all the way. Oh, back up again. Yeah, back up all the way. Keep going. Ah, there. Keep going. Good. And up all the way. So look left again. Left. Still grabby? Yeah, it's still grabby. So it's just, and then if I hold you there, look left. Oh, no grabby. Change it. Okay. Here. Come over here. No grabby. No grabby. Just take up our language right here. Let's go both hands here. Okay, this wrist won't bend back, so. Okay, you can go this. this. Okay. So you can go here. All right, go down towards the wall. Oh, my lean wooden wall. Try to do a push up into it. And then back up. Go ahead and go down. He took me off the, that's a long arm, honey. Oh, try, to try to lean, I guess. Move your feet back a little so you can kind yeah, of fall okay. into it. <laughs> Good. Maybe a couple more there. Two more. Good. One more time. Good. See how that feels. Way better. That's the most mobility I've had, I think you've had like ever <laughs> since I've been with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's do a few more of those actually. So as you can kind of tell, I'm rolling your shoulder blade back on your spine. Yeah. So it's pulling the scapula back. Gotcha. And all my hair out of my back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Who needs, <laughs> needs it? Who needs it? And he's like, yeah, and all my hair. Oh, there. That's it. <laughs> yeah, see how it moves now? Mm -hmm. That's what it needed the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. So now there's no problem going against me. That's so much better. Yeah. So that's guy really just needed to set in. Okay. Okay, so what is it makes you so much better than every other chiropractor I've ever been to? I mean... Ever. <laughs> I mean, what is it? That, I mean, because I don't understand the hammer stuff. Just different stuff, I guess. Well, it's amazing. And, uh, what happened? I mean, you know, as an athlete, once you just start to, the amount of pain you deal with just becomes your new normal. Sure. You just expect you could accept that. You know? Yeah, I would say that's the difference. Also, is not accepting limitations and just continuing to try to find new ways to fix certain types of things, right. and not just doing the same cookie cutter thing on every single person and expecting different outcomes. Right. Like, why would you be the same as somebody who just is a desk jockey right. all day long? Why would I do the exact same thing that you do? Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> the reason why you heard a good answer is like, a good answer. You know, yeah. is there I'm, anything we can do with this, or is it just I so? Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and I like honesty because I've got people all the time like, oh, I know this guy who'll fix your arm, you'll get range of motion back. I'm like, no, yeah, it's bone. <laughs> and, and my concern <laughs> is that, that, you know, that's a moneymaker for you is if you start to try to move the bones yeah. or you start messing with the soft tissue, it'll weaken certain parts of it, and then you put the ligaments at risk. You know, given, yeah. <laughs> given the lack of mobility of the bones, if you're trying to create motion anywhere else, yeah. what, uh, the bone won't give. Yeah. And your bicep's gonna come up, your, your UCL is gonna come off, your or your MCL. Um, gotcha. You know, and the juice isn't gonna be worth the squeeze. Gotcha. Like, I'm gonna torture you, the joint's not gonna change. Like, we've right. seen the x-ray. Yeah. I'm gonna show him the X-ray on the film. Like yeah. his elbows are full of bone, so it's very sturdy, very strong. He's just not gonna have a great jab anymore. No, <laughs> it's gonna come up a little short. But if it was a wrestling move and it was like a clothesline, sure, they're in trouble. It's, it's not gonna buckle at all. <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be rough on him. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's gonna be no hyperextension, no extra mobility. Uh -huh. So neck feels pretty good now. Yeah, it does. Okay, so. Yeah, so super cool surprise to find out that you were actually at Jackson Week Academy. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 it was one of our subscribers who suggested I, I reach out to you. Oh, nice. Um, and then once I did, 
I started looking you up and seeing all the stuff you did, uh -huh. and still did not realize it was here. <laughs> yeah. And then you pull it, I'm like, oh my god. You're like, where's this address? I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> yeah. I know this. I've seen this on countdowns. And, yeah, you know. dude, for real. Yeah, so we have a bunch of memorabilia, obviously, all over the office. And I love it. See this? Okay, so like the belts and all that stuff. Uh -huh. That's how my gym looks. Nice. So it's just, it it, it gives you. I, mean, I just love the environment, though. I love. Because there's difference. Between people don't. The average person doesn't understand the mindset of a champion. Sure. They just see the you know all the accomplishments and whatever. They don't see all the work and sacrifice and all that. So. Yeah, it's like there's no such thing as an overnight success, right? But they right. Just, no. like, just woke up like that. Like, exactly. Yeah. The hours and hours and hours that people put in. The, so much work. While you were sleeping, right. these people were grinding. I'm so much happier that the knee feels better because that was a big deal for me. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that, that would even be something he'd be able to fix. But uh, I'm, I'm ready to get back to box jumping now. Mm -hmm. No, no, on the box jump. So like one more day in the box jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so this is the best my neck has felt in years. Rebecca's like, I've never seen you had that much mobility. It was funny because I was looking up, couldn't look up that high. He cracked me. Man, I damn near folded my neck backwards. What are y'all talking about? I feel amazing. Highly recommend coming to check this dude out if you're hurting because I'm always hurting. And this is the healthiest I've felt in years. Devin's in trouble.